I study epigenetic gene regulation. And so what that is, is that epigenetics means above genetics. Essentially what we're trying to understand is how cells achieve their identity um, through cellular programming. So for example, when a liver cell um, divides, it remembers that it's a liver cell. When a skin cell divides, it remembers that it's a skin cell. And this is the thing that we're really interested in, is trying to understand the machinery that's involved in helping cells to remember their identity. And sometimes when this process goes wrong, it leads to certain types of diseases, like cancers and certain developmental disorders and things like that. In particular, we're working with proteins that are involved in acute lymphocytic and acute myeloid leukemias. Um, and as well as a number of different cancers that seem to have aberrations in this process. And so what we'd like to do is design drugs that could be directly useful for patients that are suffering from these diseases. We've all experienced um, the loss of loved ones because of cancer or other debilitating diseases. And so it's, you know, it's, it's easy for us to, to see those people. We see them in the hospital every day and it's, um, you know, we can keep our motivation high that way. This research is uh, critically important. I don't think there's any other way to get at a lot of these different diseases. So I think that a lot of cancers, there, there have been no explanation for for a long time. Um, and I think we're beginning to be, get to the, the, the basis of this. Can we reprogram cells so that they're not cancers anymore? It sounds like it's, it's out there, it's like futuristic, right? Um, but this is actually real. We've actually created molecules. We have patents on a couple of molecules that we're hoping to use to treat different types of leukemia. So this is something that we're you know, hoping to bring right into the patients, right into the clinic so that it can help people. We are passionate, um, we're dedicated to really try to understand how these molecules work at the, at the most basic level. Because um, this is really the kind of understanding that we need in order to be able to fight these diseases um, and to design new drugs and potential treatments to help alleviate human suffering.